This year I've really fallen in love with the whole idea of habit formation habit what no habit formation all of the science behind it i don't know if you can tell looking at the content on my channel but yeah I'm, I'm very into that right now so today i thought we could talk a little bit about how to form a new habit and actually stick to it setting a new habit for ourselves isn't really that hard it's the doing part what i found to be very helpful is making the habit that you're trying to build as small as possible. It has to be so small and so actionable that you would feel stupid for not doing it every day. I'm talking like reading one page of a book or working on a side hustle for as long as you're drinking your coffee or doing a yoga session for five minutes. If you can just show up for a habit and be there and do that thing and then get back to doing whatever you are doing, you're still building a habit. Now, it feels unfulfilling, <laughs> I know. You will feel like it's not enough and it's good that you're feeling that. I am aware that it sounds so stupid that you may even think about not doing it at all. And I want you to stop listening to that voice and listen to my voice instead. Because if you read one page of a book every single day, you are now a person who reads every day. And that's huge. What happens so often with our new habits is that they're not hard to do, they're really not. Like the things you set for yourself as goals, like they're not hard to do, but they seem like so much effort to our lizard brains that we end up not doing those things even though they may be not that difficult to do and you may even enjoy doing those things but because those things are new and they're not set up in your routine your brain will not want to do those things because it's not used to doing those things if you make a habit so easy that it's stupid not to do it there is no resistance in that and that's where we're going after you're building consistency that way and as i said by doing something every single day even if it's just five minutes you become a person who does that every single day. The more you do something over a period of time, the more you will feel like doing it and you will want more. So the gist here is, if you're not feeling like doing something, do it just for five minutes. But if you're really enjoying yourself, doing whatever you're doing, keep going do it as long as you want what happens then is that you will want to improve as time goes by if you take too much on yourself you end up doing it for a week then hate the habits altogether and then never do it again that's just not a way to go you have to show up for yourself however you are the habit of the habit is more important than the habit itself and why is that you may ask well let me tell you let's take going to the gym for example if you go to the gym every single day or like i don't know three times a week it doesn't really matter the point is you have a habit of going to the gym and then you go on a vacation because you deserve going on vacation and so you go on a vacation and then when you come back you can't drag your ass to the gym even though it was already a habit sounds familiar it's not because suddenly you forgot how to go to the gym just that if you break a chain of doing a habit you become resistant towards it because it's easier not to do the task you're doing the easiest thing you can do is just lie in your bed all day and watch netflix or not even that you can lay down and sleep all day that's the easiest thing you can do but do you really want to do that your entire life that's what seems the easiest way out for your brain it, it seems like a path of least resistance you have to show up for yourself however you are because the habit of the habit is way more important than the habit itself besides this whole thing i have one more tip for you as to how we can make adding that new habit easier for us to build and to stick basically it's called habit pairing or habit stacking you stack two or more habits together and do them in a sequence so a sequence of habits could be your morning routine for example or going to the gym and then taking a shower. You can either do it in a sequence of old habit plus new habit, brushing your teeth and then meditating. So stacking the new habit of meditation with an old habit that is brushing your teeth. That's the first scenario. Second one, stacking a new habit with a fun habit. So if the new habit you're trying to make is not that fun yet for you, you're doing it because you want to feel better, but it's not necessarily that easy to do or not that nice to do, you can stack it together with a habit that is kind of fun. Let's say running on treadmill and watching your favorite show on Netflix. But here's a twist. You can't really let yourself watch that show at any other time than while you're running on treadmill. And that is all I have prepared for you guys today. These are two very simple tips, but I don't think we really need more to actually start doing something let me know what new habits are you trying to establish and tell me how you're gonna approach them thank you guys for watching i love you more than i love coffee and life is your story
Don't make it a good one. Bye, guys.